Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's Monday. Monday. I hit the chair over there. It hurt a little bit. It's Monday. Great day to start a new week. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you are my welcomed guest here every morning, 7 o'clock. And it's the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy. Important thing. And enjoy the benefits of business ownership. I appreciate you being here this morning. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe just did. Leave a comment down there. I do believe Joe wins the award for being first. Most days out of 2017, uh, you'll get your uh, special prize for that. <laughs> Wednesday, maybe. I don't know. I have uh, I've had a conflict the last couple of Wednesdays. Haven't been able to get to the coffee shop show. Not sure how that's going to resolve itself, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. So I hope you had a great weekend, had an opportunity to rest, recharge, rejuvenate, reconnect, all those re-words. And here's the important one, with your important, that's right, relationships. So uh, this week, so we've been talking about creating the life that you crave. That's been the macro theme over the last couple of weeks. Today, I want to talk more specifically. Um, I, I want to touch on again before we get, I want to talk systems this week, but today I want to talk about why. The title of the show today is There Are a Million Reasons Why Not. And then the subtitle would be And Only One Great Reason Why. We talk about understanding your why, knowing your why uh, a lot, um, but I'm not sure that we really do know it or understand it. I mean, it, it's one thing, so you know, kind of like the great joke, right? You leave a great tip, buy low and sell high. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, it's funny, but do you really understand what that means? Kind of the same thing with understanding your why. Yeah, okay, I know I need to know my why. Yeah, okay, I got it. But it do you really, right? So what I want to encourage you to do today is we get ready to get uh, dig a little more into systems and then from a macro system, a macro perspective, kind of what we're working toward for 2018, understand that motivation behind what you're doing, right? If... If your motivation for going into the office, oh, well, let me say it a different way. If your motivation for bringing your laptop home and working all weekend is to get through all of your emails, might be okay, but do the emails pursue your goals in the seven critical areas of your life? Probably, you're probably foregoing a couple of others in order to get through some emails. So you've got to really understand that underlying why. Right. If your underlying why is to, um, <laughs> this would be a terrible one, but it's the first one that came to mind. If your underlying why is to never have a, an email in your inbox for more than 30 minutes, okay, make that your why. But understand you're going to have to forego um, family parties, holiday parties, birthday parties, little league games. Because you got to get emails answered, right? So that's why I'm saying that's a terrible one. And, you know, kind of the trite and, and well-worn method of figuring this out is, well, you're on your deathbed, what do you want people to say about you? Not really what you want other people to say about you. Who cares what other people think, especially if you're dying? What do you want to say, man, I'm really glad I did that? That, I think, is the much better question, right? I'm really happy that I was able to do that. You know, I was having a conversation with someone yesterday. I have a close family member who um, is probably in the last few days of their life. And we're talking about how that family member is, is fearful, is afraid of dying. And, I, you know, it just, the words that came to me were, well, you know, fear... Um, fear is rooted in uncertainty. If I'm uncertain, if I feel like I've left something undone, if I if I feel like there's more I should have done, if I'm uncertain what's going to happen when I die, all of those things can lead to fear. But if 
if you are certain that you did the things you need to do, you, you're certain you poured into the important relationships, you're certain that um, of everything, no reason to be afraid. So, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of morbid for Monday. I don't like doing morbid on Monday. But the question is, question of the day, get to your deathbed. What are you going to think? Wow, I'm really glad I did that. See if that's not your why. And if that's not your, and I've said all along, this is not new stuff, right? You got to know the outcome you're trying to create. That's your why. That's what you're moving toward. How are the things you're doing today getting you to that outcome? So I think that's where the disconnect comes. That's how we're going to talk about systems for the rest of the week. Putting a system in place to make sure you're moving that way. But are the things you're doing daily moving you toward that outcome, moving you toward your why? Can't know if you don't know what the why is. That's your task for today. I will be back again tomorrow. That's going to do it for today. Tomorrow is also the radio show. Be sure and listen to that. That comes at 8 o'clock on WTKIRadio.com or TalkRadioForEntrepreneurs.com. Both of those get you to the right place so you can listen to it. Or you can listen to it on your car radio. WTKI is 1450 AM, 92.9 FM here in and around Huntsville. All right. Um, yep, that's it. Wrapping it up. You guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.